Hello guys, today I'm going to bring you guys a highly requested video and it's the best render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 13. I'll be showing you guys how to render your videos in 60 FPS if any of you actually record it in 60 FPS. These are the render settings I use and this is for both 720 and 1080p depending if you want a bigger file size or not. So before we get started, make sure to go and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to them are listed in the description. And make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful and subscribe for future uploads. So let's get started. So once you're in Sony Fix Pro 13, you will need to press file new to start a new project right here. And then this um, new project settings will appear. Or you guys can press project video properties if you have already started editing or are finished editing. So once you're into the project properties, you guys can go and copy these down. This, um, what I enter here is for the highest quality and a uh, highest quality audio, audio and visual you can possibly have in your videos. So this has nothing to do with the rendering. What this will change is basically that little rectangle behind this and select what you guys record in. So if you're recording 1080p, select 1080p. If you record 720p, record 720p. So I record in 720p, 30 FPS, and copy these things down for the highest quality possible. So I'll let you guys copy down, or you guys can pause the video right now. So once you're done with the video part, go into audio and copy this down as well. So once you're done that, press start all new projects with these settings if you enjoyed this video and think it will help. And uh, so every time you make a new video, this can um, uh, be the default settings. So press apply and OK if you want to do that. Now it's time to import your media or if you already did this, you can skip this step. So let's go ahead and just import my video I made. This is my intro and how you get this little orange thing is just uh, pressing M at the end of the video and then what you want to do is just just drag it so it highlights the video and make it make sure it's from the end to the beginning. So once you're done editing and all that good stuff go ahead and press file render as or press that green button right here which will do the same exact thing so what i like to use for my render rendering settings is i believe sony it's not no actually main concept avc slash aac this works for mp4 formats so that internet hd 1080p or 720p depending on what you record in i record in 720p so i'll show you guys how to do this press customize template name your template and here you can change the frame size you guys can change the frame rate if you if it uh if you're recording 60 fps you guys can type in 60 even though there isn't an option for 59 fps just write in 60 if you guys want but since I record 30 FPS, I'll do 29.97 and keep all this stuff the same. And if you guys have a uh, CUDA you got, uh, to render faster, just check uh, check your GPU on under system, but I do not have it. So I'll be just rendering using CPU only. Here, the higher the sample rate, the better the quality, but the bigger the size. So just keep it like this, or you guys can go to 90, 96,000 if you guys are sacrificing a, a little bit of time. Go to system, this is the same thing I said. You can check to make it uh, render faster. Next, go on to project. In here, under video rendering quality, go on to best and press OK. So that's about it you guys can favorite it if you guys want and you guys can do the same thing if you guys want to record in 60 fps 
on 1080p and do the exact same thing for both so every you go in favorite if you want to sh show it every time you want to render just press show favorites only and you guys can select it easier so i'll be pressing internet 720p since i just did that and press on it and press render and there there you go so thank you guys for watching this video i hope it helped you guys a lot thank you um if you guys want to see me in future videos, go ahead and subscribe like this if you enjoyed it. I see you, I'll see you guys in the next one.